happy quilters and welcome to Pine Needles Quilt and Sew here in Rochester, Minnesota. This is the Marsha and Joy, Joy show. show and we come to you every week at Wednesdays at one o'clock and we are so excited to kick off the second half of this week with you and it's kind of a big week isn't it? It is a big week, yes. We got some days off, don't we? Oh my goodness, yes we do. Just a reminder for those of you locals we are not going to be open on Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. So plan ahead, get your fabrics. Absolutely. We'll be here Thursday and Friday, but I um, want you to enjoy the time with your family as well as the entire staff and myself is going to enjoy some time with the family yep. over the 4th of July. I think my family might be named so. Bernina, Baby Lock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, no, and, I'm family with my fabric. Family. And fabric. <laughs> well, we hope you will have some time to do that, some of that kind of fun stuff too. Yeah. So anyways, um, well, this is our last Wednesday of June. It is. I know, and um, I'm kind of sad about that. Well, how so, Marcia? Well, because it's the end of our chicken jokes. I know. I, I have some really good ones. Okay, well, I'm ready. Um, so would you be all freaked out if I did a, why did the chicken cross the road joke? Because we haven't done one yet. No, I think so. going to blow you away or anything? No, okay. I don't know. I haven't heard it yet. Well, why did the chicken cross the road twice? Why did he cross the road twice, Marcia? Because he was a double crosser. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to put my chicken picture up here. Uh oh. <laughs> all right. Well, you know, because it's the last one, I have to have more than one. More than one sometimes. Right, because there's lots and of And you know, ones. you play music all the time. Uh -huh. So do you know what the chicken's favorite instrument is? No, I don't know what a chicken's favorite instrument is. It is anything with drumsticks. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry all my percussion friends out there. So enough of the <laughs> jokes, but no, no, let's just get on a serious note here. Okay, I'm ready. So I kind of have... I kind of have a, a little bit of a problem. What would be your problem, Marcia? Well, I kind of think I'm a chicken. Really? How long has this been going on? Ever since I came out of my shell! <laughs> <laughs> you set me up for that. Okay, okay. that's it. That's I want it. to drain into it Inlet until she gets to the next one, folks. No, no, no. That's it. That okay. was the end of the chicken jokes for this month. Woo! And everybody is going, yay! No, I kind of like them, but whatever. Well, anyways, I'm not, we're not sure what July is going to be. It has we'll to be some kind, of, it. Uh, some kind of animal again, but... I'm Maybe gonna, a wise quacker? Put your comment in there and see what you think we should do. Oh, yeah, that's right. Be sure to like, comment, and share for a chance to win one of these wonderful gift certificates from Marcia and I. It's a $10 certificate, and you have three possibilities. One is to answer the trivia question first, mm -hmm. but the other two choices are a totally random drawing, so be sure to like, comment, and share for your chance to win one of these certificates. And if you want to suggest what kind of family-friendly jokes we might have as a theme, please do so. Okay. <laughs> All right, that sounds really good. All right, well, we do have some new fabrics to show you, and they are awesome. Okay, and I think I match. You do match. So you're not supposed to have favorites, but this week my favorite is going to be Robin Pickens. She's the designer of our cottage blue line. Next week it will be whatever Marcia sets in front of me. Is it there anything favorite. out there that isn't your favorite? Oh my no, goodness. I haven't I been know, a fabric I, I didn't like. That. I kind of have a problem. So cottage my husband blue might agree. From Robin Pickens, and we're going to come here. All right, so you can see what we're doing. Um, Robin Pickens, this is a little bit different colorway for her. She's kind of been in the oranges and, and reds and yellows. Yep. So look at that, that hydrangea on there. I love that fabric. That's really pretty. And this one, beautiful blues, butterflies. Those look like blueberries. I love this stripe. Wouldn't that be a fun binding? It would be a fun binding. Oh, look at this. I love these colors together. Right, classic. The darker blue. Oh, she always has something nature, doesn't she? She does. Robin Pickens. So there's our, some of the blues, and then we kind of get into the lighter blues. Because you need to have contrast. This is oh, I love the thatch. Thatched, yep. She always puts, well, she is the thatched lady. She is the thatched lady. From Moda. 
And that's so classic beautiful. right there. Oh, oh I thought I liked the darker one, but look at that that's one. That's really pretty. So I'm going to come up here again. Here's another different color of thatch. Well, actually, there's three blues in here of thatch that are just beautiful. Now, we have this on the bolts, correct? We do. And all the pre -cots. Here's that stripe. Oh, I love this as a background. And look at it this It has one. a fun name, and if I could only remember what oh, that was you called. Can see that. That's tone on tone, and it is beautiful. And more butterflies. Oh, Here's another stripe. I love these stripes. And oh my goodness. Oh, a hint of purple plum yes, in there. Yes, there's a little plum in there. Now these are the chartreuse citrine type colors. Beautiful. Is this chartreuse? I'm going with chartreuse. Or and here's another um yellow green. It's yellow. You know, green. when we had her other line, this was one of the most popular of the thatched, was it that? Was that color but I just these are just yummy they're fresh they're so cool some more um, hydrangeas different uh, backgrounds kind of the aqua and then that citrine color and with the heat we're having this color is there's really a lot of these and cooling it is toes so in the water of these more prints so here's another thatched Ooh. beautiful butterflies Wow, what are you going to make out of this? I don't know. Just Look at wait. this one. Here's another thatched color that goes in there. Here's more hydrangeas. And look at those. I love that. We're almost at the end here. Oh, and my goodness. One. That's gorgeous in there too. too. And then this, we're going to top it all off with these beautiful butterflies. So, my goodness, this is a lot. Do oh, you know how many is in this? I do. Group? There are 38 fat quarters in this pack. 38. And it's $132.99 oh. to get all of that beautiful goodness in one go. All right. And because fat quarters are lovely, but, you know, we have layer cakes as well. And we have the charm squares. Of course, the mini little charms. You remember that fun charmed basket? And jelly rolls. Yep. So nice assortment Something of colors. for everybody here. Beautiful, um, a little bit different colorway. I absolutely love it. Um, I don't know what it is about it, but it just... Well, it's so hot out, and it's such a refreshing it's, lake it's color, really, summer. Really, really, really hot. Yeah. Um, could you just do a little... We've got some emails. Thank you very much about the pantry. Um, could you just tell them what we're doing with the pantry and that the last one is going out and I can. that the subscriptions will not be renewed at this time, but you tell them. I can tell them. Okay, so all of you fun pantry peeps out there, I know you've been having a wonderful time. The last one will be available tomorrow, July 1st to be picked up and if you have ordered it to be shipped, it will be shipped to you. We are taking a break until next year, January. Uh, we will let you know plenty of time that when you can sign up again. October. Last year we started about October. In October. Taking sign ups and telling them about what's going on. So we'll probably do that again this year. Right. We oh we God. are prepared. We had planned for the rest of the year, but the shipping is is um, a challenge at this time. And we just want to allow the shipping to kind of, not shipping to you a challenge, but getting our supplies in time so we can get the kits to you. Um, we just want that to settle out a little bit and let everybody kind of catch up and settle out from the pandemic because it's still a challenge. Right, it is. And we promised the newest of the new and, you know, we're still waiting for fabrics that should have been here the first of March. Right. So it's just really hard to do that kind of a timed thing. Exactly. And get it out to you on time when we don't get the fabrics on time and the last minute changes and then the staff's stress over, oh my gosh, what are we going to do when we have to change our mind at the last minute? So we're right. just going to let everything catch up. It's not that we don't love it. We know that you all love it too, but it's just um, really hard for us to be really timely and have the newest of the new stuff when we don't get it in a timely manner. And that manner. was totally our goal, is to give it you was that fresh, a, a hot off the of fabric press. This actually was going to be one of them, wasn't it? It, it, it is. We don't tell. Oh. Okay. But we're not doing it anymore. Oh. Marsha! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well, it's, well, almost, it's almost July 1st. The pantry will be shipped <laughs> tomorrow.
tomorrow. <laughs> and if you uh, okay. have indicated you're picking it up, we'll be ready for you to pick up tomorrow. I'm, I'm not, I'm, we're going to move on here now. We're moving on. All right, so we have some new notions. Joy, do you want to talk about I do. So I was gone for a couple of days camping, and while I was out, we got these cool I things know. in, Marsha. So you can cool. open one up. I'll open one, I'll up. open one up. These are magnetic pin cup holders. So anything that is pinny to go in here. They're kind of cute little things. You can twist it to lock it in place. Do you remember those tumbler? Yes. Kind of says a kid that squished flat. Yes. You know, those, oh gosh. I All of a sudden those when so you bad. saw when you needed to drink water right now. You did. <laughs> and then you had to get it all locked into place. Well that's kind of how this works because it, it will shorten for um, storage if you don't have things in it but it has a magnet in here to hold your wonder clips your pins your needles and they're so sweet and then we have two sizes we have the this big size, big size does it have size. a proper name or is yes, it just it's a magnetic pin cup mine is a standard magnetic pin cup mine is a magnetic pin cup okay anyways these have been all the rage online lately or on the internet we've been seeing them so of course we have to have them as well. Of They're great for trouble. Put your pins, anything metallic though would be be useful. Uh -huh. Even a little jewelry in there. Jewelry or I was thinking Paper like clips. Uh, yeah, or I was thinking like, you know, sometimes when we take uh something apart and we need to keep the screws and things together. Oh, like when we paint our rooms, we yes. put all the picture hangers in there and of getting the coffee cup out of the cupboard. Or I'm thinking like Wow, wouldn't that be brilliant? I know. Really Instead of having <laughs> Anyway, it doesn't take much to thrill us. It does Anyways, not. these come in a plethora of colors, enthusiasm. And speaking of that, um, if you are new to shopping here, you can go to our shopping page, and it is on the website www.pnqs.net. And if you hit shop, and then you will see PNQS Quilt and Sew Wednesday Live features goodies, and those everything that we are featuring here today will be on that page, and it will not go down until. Next, Next week. Wednesday. So um, you have all week to shop. Um, there is one limited edition something on sale. and Oh, uh, a lot of sale fabrics too. That yeah. are coming later. Don't tell yet. yet. So, okay, I have to tell you, Marsha, <laughs> this is the most exciting thing that just came. And she's like, uh, you're kind of crazy, Joy. But it is a six inch uh, soft dust cleaning brush. And for cleaning the lint out of your bobbin area and in all those tricky spaces in your serger or your sewing machine, I have been waiting for this, like, for forever. I know. We had our own brushes. Yep. yep. But this really is the cat's pajamas. The shape it's is round, round, and it's very yep. useful for getting in all those tricky areas. Right. That would also be good for, like, dusting my keyboard here. Yeah, you know, like when you eat cookies over yeah. the top of your keyboard, stuff like that. Not that you do and that. You get the sticky stuff off the wall. No. No, 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 no. Okay, but anyway, this is a sewing machine cleaning brush. It also could be used to dust uh, any little corners out of places. Okay, this is then my next favorite item here. First of all, the color is amazing. Secondly, they package these so you can't open them, but we're going to have to open them. This is a four-in-one mat, and... I think everybody needs one of these. This is pretty cool. It I will is have to pretty admit. cool. So I came into the office when this came in. I said, Marsha, look what this <laughs> is, didn't I? Yeah, and I thought, well, what in a new book? I know it's squishy because you can lay it flat and you can use it as an ironing surface. You don't have to get up to your big ironing board. It also goes to retreats very nicely. But what I love, 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 love is this mini cutting mat because, you know, paper piecing, trimming. It's a very exactly. nice mat. And it's stuck right on there. It is. And then we have a soft surface for having a mini little, um, what do you call this? Flannel board. Flannel board. Design Thank board. You. Design board. Couldn't think of the word. And then we have sandpaper. So when you get the hangnail, you can file your fingernails. Kidding. It's for tracing. <laughs> But but you could use it. Well, you know what? To, well, to I guess file. we got the flannel board too here. But you know when you have tiny pieces, right? Yep. It's it's designed for tracing so that it doesn't slip around. I see. So applique. Yeah. All right. But it's a four in one. But look at how small and adorable this is, and it just feels rich and lovely. And this is called a quilter's multi mat, 
And it is also on our webpage, twenty four ninety nine. But twenty four ninety nine, that's, that's it. Like and that would fit in a backpack that would sneak in your suitcase. It would. You could take it in the car as an extra writing surface. If I ever get that bug where I want to make those tiny little four inch squares. With you know, you know, you sit now. next to me long enough. I know. It, it will start. be there. It, it starts getting like that. Okay, so the next thing is the strawberry jam. Oh my gosh, are the strawberries are getting up or what? They are. It is strawberry season. So How would you like the past? This food? time, I think we could just hold these up this time. So this is the limited edition pine needles six pack. Every week for the Wednesday Live, we release a specially curated uh, six pack of fat quarters. And this time it is called strawberry jam. And if you just want to hold those up one bite at a time, so of course Cute. we'd have to have a strawberry in it, Little and a print, and a beautiful stripe. I love the diagonal <laughs> there's checkerboard. The, there's the pie top, right? Yep, and a coordinating grunge, and, and then a floral. So, so nice um, variety of little and big prints and, and lines. Absolutely, these are really pretty. So they are $21, $15.99, limited edition, and we have a limited number. We do, so don't wait. Yep, you're gonna want to. They go like hotcakes. They do. It's a lot of fun. Um, quilt works. Oh my goodness! I'm pretty sure there might be some comments in here asking about the quilt behind us. Is She's giving it to me. <laughs> this no. does not even belong to us. I wish it did. I know. Actually, gorgeous. this is one that we brought back from Madeline Island, um, and we get to have it here at the store for a little bit. And we're actually going to make kits of this. This is a, a new line of fabric that's coming. Um, so if you're interested in this, now we can't, you can't sign up yet um, for this. But what I'm really excited about is this also is a machine embroidery applique. And oh, a, the best kind. Flowers on the outside too. Um, let me... And this pad is called Valley Blossoms, and it's 99 by 99, so that totally would work on a good size bed. So you can see the corners, all of that is oh, machine embroidery too. So yeah, that's beautiful. So the name of this one is Valley Blossoms. Valley Blossoms, and it is a new one for them. And um, Island Boutiques, these are Island Boutiques, and they also have YouTube. Like wherever you see on the top of these patterns that there's YouTubes, then Judy, Judy usually has a YouTube of a how-to. But look at all the wonderful papers right. and everything that come with that. Um, so this is upcoming. Um, I think Kendra was kind of wanting to make this one, so I'm not exactly sure if we'll get our own made or not. But boy, that is an heirloom quilt, and it is a beauty. So speaking of um, quilt works, we now have... Um, two people actually that can work in Quiltster. So if you're, and we have just replenished, we've got to have a new um, place for our mm -hmm. Quiltworks patterns. So we got a brand new slat wall coming and we'll be hanging those in the hallway there a little bit. Um, but we replenished all, we're replenishing all of our Quiltworks patterns and we have two people that can do Quiltworks. So if there's a certain pattern like this that you might want to use, um, we can, you can pick some fabrics out and we can recolor it for you in Quiltster and show you what it's going to look like um, in the pattern. So you can change your mind before we start cutting uh, fabrics too. Like if something doesn't, um, sometimes it's hard, especially with these like two things would mesh together. You think the two greens are far enough in part on color value, but they're not when you see them on the screen. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a new service that we're going to be offering here as a quilt work certified shop is that um, you can pick any of the patterns here from us or if there's one that we don't happen to carry because we can't carry every single one we'll be glad to get it for you and then we will colorize it for you in quiltster and um, you'll know exactly what it's going to look like before you pick out your fabrics also on the quilt works thing um, kindra will be teaching the technique of the month and this is her version of the technique of the month. And it's just beautiful. Yes, it is. And then here is another one in a different colorway. So anyways, on the technique of the month, this is going to be a monthly class, and I believe it's six months long. It'll start in September. And we, we haven't exactly decided, but she's kind of thinking uh, Sunday afternoons for those of you, you know, working ladies or busy mm -hmm. on Saturdays with your um, kids, grandkids, whatever. 
and it will be for six months but this is what we're going to be making so again we're going to have kits in the blue and brown version that she has there as you can see on the screen and then we have can do a plethora of custom coloring um, out of your colors whatever it is that you want now we haven't set the dates for this uh, we were going to have them set today but Kendra had a little tragedy in her family so I don't have the date set up for this but do watch because um, it's going to be a lot of fun. It would be in our email that goes out. It will be in the, in not not this week. Not but, this week, but, but watch in our them, email. Yes. So if you're not right on our email list, be sure you sign up. She's also going to be doing just a beginning um, Quilt Works class, too, to just see if you like the paper piecing. Um, um, I don't know why you wouldn't, but she's just <laughs> going to do a beginner, so it's not something big and huge like these quilts that, that I have featured here. Um, so it'll be a smaller thing. It actually, actually, it's made out of fat quarters. Right. So it's going to be quite fun. And those two can be colorized. Um, she's going to. So you can visualize that before too. you start. Yep. So as far as the bigger classes, like we're going to start with the technique of the month. She's going to do appointments first for those of you that you want to come. If you don't want to do her colorway, then she's going to make appointments, and you're going to come here and. The two of you will pick out the fabrics and put them in the computer and figure it all out. So lots of fun. Now, speaking of the QuiltWorks things, at the QuiltWorks University at Madeline Island, I found a lot of people with these kind of things. So I'm going to have Where you... would you like to start? Should we start at the bottom? Let's start at the bottom with the wool pressing mats. Now, just a moment. Can I just add a little something in here? You may. What if they have no idea what paper piecing is? <laughs> and I'm going to just say it's like sewing by number. There are papers to help you get these very detailed angles. You couldn't possibly cut and sew this accurately without the paper. So basically you're going to be sewing the fabrics to the paper, trimming. If you can sew a straight line right. and you have a line to follow, exactly. you truly can make this. These are not hard. They are a bit time consuming because look at all the details. But there is no way you're going to get these sharp points any other way than paper piecing. So we should do a little demo on paper piecing maybe sometime Coming soon. Up. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, what I found for those of you that already love paper piecing, um, next to their sewing stations, um, the paper pieces would have one of these so that they could iron. Um, when you paper piece, you have to flip right. and sew okay. and flip nice. and sew. So have those, and then the little iron they had with them was one of those. Right, one of these beautiful, reliable um, and this steamers. Can steam as well. So this is a great little iron. Honestly, this one gets hot, stays hot. Now it plugs in. It's not a cordless one, so you do have to have a plug in. And then, and then, if it was hot, if you're at a retreat or something, it was hot, and you have to take it home. Here is a wonderful little Yazzie, um insulated bag tote to take your iron home in. Yes, and it's wonderful. And actually, you know, I do have one of the, I, of course, while I was there, I had to get my own. Of course you and did. And then I just store this little mini iron in here right. for the next time. The other very important thing is a light table. And this is an amazing light it table. It really is. Now, I'm, I'm not, because we don't have it plugged in, but you plug this in and there's a cutting mat. So here we have one. This one is daylight. This one costs a little bit more. Um, but the cutting mat, we do have cutting mats that go with the daylight. Right. And they are and then like this one, opaque, that, clear kind of. Right. So what you can see under here was when you're paper piecing, when you have to fold and do the quarter inch um, cut, you can see really well underneath here. So this one is a little bit it's by Nikki less Notions. expensive. So better put that mat back yep. in here. Put that, and then we have the daylight ones too. But this is amazing. Also for applique, for those of you who do a lot of applique, a light table is indispensable. Also for the Laura Heine quilts, um, they use these light tables all the time. And my son uses his all the time to draw out electronic circuits. So he borrowed mine recently to draw out really detailed so things. These are some of the fun tools that I found that um, a lot of the, oh my gosh, the die hard Judy Niemeyer paper piecers, quilt works, lovers, right. um, used all the time. And uh, they're absolutely awesome. All right, so next is the mystery clue. Number nine. Number nine it? already. And so if you're just joining us, you still have time. Even though we're at clue number nine, you can go back to the beginning Hello. and find our clues. 
And here we Ooh, are. Look at how pretty know, that is. Well, Marcia. we've been making, yes, we have been, you know, I know it's summer and I know we're busy, so we're just kind of doing things a little bit at a time. So this is your clue, the mystery clue this time. So what I'm going to tell you here is you go find these pieces here. So these are three pieces and together. And they made those the last two weeks, didn't they, Marcia? Oh, they've made them, yeah. Oh, the I last don't know how long weeks. ago. We've been putting things, so once again, it's just two things that you have to put together again. I will tell you the mistake I made last night when I was putting mine together. You have, you have these, where these um, greens are in the corners, and then you have some that have oranges in the corners. And you're gonna sew these together. You have to make sure that you follow the directions, and you have, now she's wondering if she's made another mistake. I think I did. No. Yes, I did. Okay. No. This, yeah, I did. This <laughs> one is and right. Marcia makes some mistakes so you don't have That's to. That's right. This one is right. You have to make sure. You look at this. You have to make sure that these lighter ones are on the outsides. Look right? at you, Marcia. That's wrong. This, this one is, is right. wrong. But what I did is the first time I sewed it together, I sewed like three of these together so I had... So I had like so follow the picture. These not, kind of not Marcia's follow picture. The, yeah, I had three of them put together like this, so I had two of the same. So it's really important that you have this checkerboard thing going on, but it's also important that you have so I'll have to take this apart. So the top is correct, but you need to rotate this piece. So if you just take it off and rotate it, you're good to go. Well, you have to have three facing this way and three facing Right, but this, this strip, way. if you take this out and just rotate it. Yeah, but these are already put together. So I'm oh, I there gonna, as a unit. I will, oh gosh. I will take you it. You and the just seem more I will take more it apart on you. one of these. No, it won't be bad. Okay. But okay, yeah, I did that on purpose, everyone, so that um, <laughs> I wanted you to have a visual of what not to do. So this is what to do. <laughs> this is what not to do. However, these are right. You have to have them going this, the two this different ways. Right. Yep. yep. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I, was so, I was so concentrating, though, on making sure I had the checkerboards going on, and then I get here, and it's like, oh. You yeah, know, there is a gremlin that, that, that that's is. between where you lay them out and your sewing machine. And I know you had them laid out correctly. So, I just am uh, confident. Follow the pictures that the little orange ones have to be up or on the right to be like this, <laughs> not like this. Well, All right, you're close, but no, number no, nine. No, I don't no, think no. we can tell what this is going to be yet. I kind of laid out my pieces last night and what we have done so far, and I don't think you can. I don't think you can tell who it is. Yet. No, because um, we, we're just and next time it's like next time is a really exciting one. Okay, and because it's the Fourth of July, it's just one thing. One thing. Just one thing. Not two. We've been doing two for three weeks. Do we have a trivia question today, oh, Marcia? Oh, we do have a trivia question. It is time for the trivia, isn't it? So remember, right. if you first one to answer gets a gift certificate, $10. Okay, so for the trivia this time, it is a little bit timely because we have the 4th of July coming up. So this might be a little bit of a hard one. So here it is. Uh, a civil... A Civil War era quilt showing a flag with 34 stars would likely be dated between July 4th, 1860 Something. and July 4th, 1860. So Did you say 1860 or 1960? Did you mean to put a 9 or an 8? No, it's 18. 18. They're both 18s. It's three years. Okay. So I Yeah. Okay. Gremlins again. You know. I know. So it's three years, and I will tell you, just to give you a hint, it's just, there's just two. No, that's okay. They'll figure it out. So anyways, Google that's the trivia friend. question. Yep. So um, it is, it was interesting. I did not know this one. I could not have answered this one had I not looked it up. So I'm sure there are, might be people out there that are Googling, yes. 34 stars on a flag. Why? <laughs> All right, so next thing we have, maybe shall we do the auction quilt? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, gosh. And then we'll do the same fabrics. Oh, I love this one. I do, too. So this is fresh apricot, sparkling oh, navy. a little bit. Yep. Oh, yeah, 
Well, shell pink, maybe. Oh, and I forgot, this is a really long one. Okay, time to sign up. S sign up. S time to stand up. Stand up. Sit down. All right. So this is beautiful. Um, okay, so this is a, okay, we've got to get going on this. This is one of those six hair quilt things that, patterns that I have to get. People will, are going to want to make this. Well, yes. I know. We've got a sample coming up, so we'll be doing the pattern for this. But look at the fun, pretty polka dot back ring. Oh, hey, congratulations, Georgina Bird. Georgina, you are the winner. And when we get done with this, I'll tell what? One question, too. What? You want to know how many more clues before the mystery is revealed? Oh, I'm not going to read. It's, it's a mystery. A mystery. <laughs> the question was, how many more clues before the mystery is revealed? It's a mystery. I'm not going to tell you how many more clues. Um, so anyways, this is a beautiful, beautiful quilt for the and auction I think this it's time. Six, it's 60 by probably 70 or 80, something like that. I don't know. It's nice I don't size. Know. It's a good napping quilt. It is. It's a great quilt. It, it might be, I don't know. And so if you want to participate in the auction, Marsha will post this picture tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. And you will put your bid in the comment section underneath the quilt. And at 1 o'clock, are you still going to do 1 o'clock on Saturday? Saturday? Yep, 1 o'clock on Saturday will be the end. Yes, so the one with the highest bid without going past 1 o'clock. And we do have dating on Facebook, which we have found to be very useful. Right, right. So there are those that want to play the game at the very end. So I know, but don't wait. <laughs> because <laughs> that one really is a lovely It quote. is gorgeous. Very, very yes. Lovely. So anyways, Georgina Bird was the winner of our trivia question. And the answer is 1861 to 1863. And the reason is on July 4th, the 34 star flag became an official flag honoring Kansas as the state as the state that just came in. Then on June uh, 1863, a 35th star was added after Virginians, who wished to remain part of the Union, created their own state, which is called West Virginia. So that's why there is a Virginia and a West Virginia. And then there was 35 stars on the flag. And there we so are. it went after that. So I thought that was kind of an appropriate little thing. Trivia, yes. Yep. And there is actually a quilt that has the 35 stars on it. Mm -hmm. in, the his, in the chronicles of history. I see. So that is your trivia question for today. All right, we have some fabric. We do. I, oh my gosh, just wait till you see this fabric. We kind of do. We kind of got some good ones here. We do have good ones. Well, we have good ones every time. We really do. Time. Two collections are uh, represented here today. Yes. So, we have is, this is what is left of Lakeshore. Lakeshore. And one whaley. Lakeshore story. Lakeside story. Yep. Well, we put that in there because he was. He was lonely. We used him for something. Anyways, and there's two of these lovely pillowcases left. Pillowcase kits left. So, it's $8 a yard, 30% off on pre-cuts. That is all we have left, though. So don't wait on that. Yes, case, if you're wanting something. And then also this is um, Garden Love by Wilmington Prince, right? Garden or love. Roots of Love. Roots of Love, yes. So here's what we have left of these and beautiful blues in here. And this is a really fun That print. one is gorgeous. That, they're all really nice. And then also we have some fat quarter bundles. Not very many. We have Roots of Love, one and two, and that one is a... This one this is, is just a mixture. This is eight fat quarters. Yep, so we have three different kinds of fat quarters that you can buy. I don't know if any are... These two, one and two, would not be duplicates. This would be right. the entire line. And probably. this is just a, uh, an assortment. Right. So, once again, $8 a yard. Um, minimum one year cuts, and we don't put them out on the floor till Friday. Right. All right. She's gonna make it. Yeah. So make sure you get your sale fabric, and you get a fun little pin catcher, 
And of course, it being a long weekend, having a wool mat and a small iron would be amazing. Exactly. Exactly. So I think that that is about it for now. Okay. But there is one extra thing that I want to tell you about. Oh my goodness. Do you still have another problem? No. Okay. <laughs> Good. No, hopefully I can get over that. Okay. Because <laughs> it just cracks you up. It does crack me up. <laughs> so anyways, there's a postcard coming in the mail. Uh, I think we sent out, if you don't get one, we send out to not our entirely mailing list because we like, rotate through <laughs> our mailing <laughs> list so if you didn't get a postcard don't feel offended we do rotate through our right. mailing list but um postcards went out well mm -hmm. they went out through a third party so they should be in your mailboxes next week but something very special starts here on the 6th that would be the tuesday we get back everybody has to kind of go back to work but way to have a Monday even though it's a Tuesday it is it really is but it's exciting so watch for we'll announce it on the weekly email on Friday morning as well right so if you didn't get a postcard in the mail watch your but email. I'm not gonna tell you today what it is yet oh she keeps secrets so well <laughs> sometimes 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 yes. I can all right so we want you all to have a wonderful 4th of July uh, holiday weekend with friends and family do the things that you love to do because that's so very very important so from all of us here at pine needles quilt and sew thank you so very much and until next time we will keep you in stitches bye bye bye